NFL division underdogs have been money in the bank, particularly early in the season. That's one positive for the Carolina Panthers, but I'm pretty high on this Atlanta Falcons team heading into 2023, guys. Who's going to cover this NFC South matchup in week one of the NFL season? Stick around to find out. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is the trend that I teased at the open. Since 2005, week one NFL division underdogs are 61, 39, and 1 against the spread. So does that mean you should blindly bet the Panthers in this spot? Well, in the words of Lee Corso, not so fast, my friend, because other than that division dog trend, not a ton to hang your hat on with this Panther squad heading into the regular season. They have a new head coach in Frank Reich, who was 0-4-1 straight up. Yes, there was a tie. And 0-4-1 against the spread in Week 1 games as the head coach at Indianapolis. The Panthers also have a new quarterback, rookie Bryce Young. Young is going to be the 18th number one overall draft choice to start week one in his rookie season. The previous 17 have gone a very disappointing 5-12 straight up and and 3-13-1 against the number. Now the Falcons haven't won a week one game themselves since 2017 and are just 1-7 ATS their last eight season openers. However... As alluded to at the start of the video, I am high on this Falcons team coming into 2023. In fact, I project them to win the NFC South this year. You can still get them at plus 200 in that market if you want to hop on board alongside me. The Falcons season win total currently listed at 8.5, minus 130 if you want to bet the over there. Oh, by the way, Carolina season win total currently 7.5, but juiced to the under at minus 120. Uh, minus 125, pardon me. Back to the Falcons, though. They are absolutely a team to keep an eye on. On the offensive side of the ball, look for quarterback Desmond Ritter to take a step forward as the organization has surrounded him with plenty of talent at the skill position. B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Cordero Patterson, Drake London, Jonu Smith, just to name a few. I like how a lot of these guys are going to be moving chess pieces on the board. Positionless is a term we've heard uh, in the offseason with this, uh, uh, as it pertains to some of these various skill position players with the Falcons offense. I like this offense a lot, uh, especially because Atlanta had one of the better offensive lines in the league uh, last season. I trust Arthur Smith as a play caller. This offense was 13th in DVOA last season. I think it's going to be even better in 2023. Defensive side of the ball has not been strong uh, under Smith. However, steps were taken via free agency to address both the front seven and the secondary. Calais Campbell is going to be joining Grady Jarrett up front. I like the signing of safety Jesse Bates as well. Uh, Keep in mind, the Falcons already have an elite corner in A.J. Terrell. You've got a new defensive coordinator, Ryan Nielsen, who was poached from the Saints, brought two players along with him from uh, his defense in New Orleans. That's the Falcons. They get stronger on that side of the ball while their main division rival gets weaker. In the third phase, special teams, Falcons were a top five team in DVOA a season ago. But back to focusing on week one. I think the gap between the Falcons and Panthers is far greater than the respective season win totals would seem to indicate. Just a one win difference, uh, according uh, to that uh, market. I think Atlanta, I'm not going to say the sky's the limit, but the uh, first place in the division is certainly the ceiling for this team. I know division dogs have been the way to go when betting the NFL, particularly in week one, like I said. But I would lay the points here with Atlanta if you're looking to play this game. If I am correct about the Falcons' ceiling, then this is a game they certainly should not only win, but cover. If you agree that Atlanta's the play in Week 1, go ahead and let me know in the comments section. If you disagree, let me know in the comments section. Also, if you're enjoying this kind of content, do us a favor and smash that like button. And if you want to be alerted with any of our betting content here at Wager Talk, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we release betting predictions and picks for every sport you can think of each and every single day. Uh, and then for a limited time, as a reminder, you can get three weeks of college football selections 
and three weeks of NFL picks for only $147. That breaks down to just $49 per week. It's a great way to kick off the season. You can find my selections every day at wt.buzz backslash bp. Now, if you're interested in more trends, game breakdowns, and picks, go ahead, check out this next video.